It's Debatable with Mark Gray here on MLBBro.com. Welcome to Debatable, boys and girls, where we debate, deliberate, and pontificate on all things black baseball related. And in today's episode, we are fixing a historic inaccuracy with Keith Watson, who's the son of a bro you need to know from a few weeks ago, Bob Watson, the first black general manager to win a World Series title with the New York Yankees. But there's an even bigger story to it, y'all. And uh, Keith is going to drop the knowledge on us. Let's talk about what the Astros are doing to honor your dad. What has happened is that the Astros have, uh, in conjunction with the uh, Astros uh, Foundation and the Astros Youth Academy, have put together a building uh, in my dad's honor called the Bob Watson Education Center. And it is uh, something that is directly related to um, a passion of my dad, which was education. Um, he felt very strongly about people uh, pursuing their education and going after and acquiring the skill sets and the knowledge um, to, to better themselves. And so the center is really focused on not just baseball, but also the educational components necessary to obtaining the skill sets, whether that's in computer literacy, whether it's in financial literacy, uh, dealing with, you know, re, you know, baseball industry specific skill sets, you know, front office, marketing, promotions, you know, a player development. There are so many different levels of opportunity within the world of professional baseball. And, you know, there are certain skill sets that are applicable across all of those. And we're trying to focus on those things at the education center. History frames him as the first general manager. But in Atlanta, they talk of Bill Lucas as the first vice president, though he did both jobs. What do you make of that scenario in terms of how it's playing out historically? On one hand, you have two men who, in their own individual rights, you know, cracked the glass ceiling of black participation at the executive level within Major League Baseball. But they were for two different jobs and should be honored and recognized for the individual efforts that they both put in not to have them kind of conflated in this kind of weird space where they say, well, Bill Lucas was the first vice president and he also did the GM duties and, and well, Bob Watson was the second, but he was the first one to win a World Series. But the reality is, is that Bill Lucas was the first black vice president. Bob Watson was the first black general manager. That's just the truth. Your dad had an eye for talent right. and really put the Yankees back after an extended hiatus on top, but then was forced to resign. What was behind that? Well, it, you know, I, I think there are a lot of factors that, that were involved in that. Um, but ultimately, you know, his health was, was in jeopardy. He had already survived prostate cancer. He, he was working 105 hours a week. And it was literally, it was killing him. So whatever the circumstances that were around, I mean, clearly there were other people who were going to benefit if he were no longer around. Um, but the reality was he put the foundation together I, and him walking away and still having his hand in terms of, you know, helping Cashman move along through the 98 and 99 season, uh, while he was still on the contract to the team, uh, it, it solidified the Yankees during that period and actually moving forward. So, um, what, what was behind it? I mean, I, th I think it's safe to say that, you know, maybe Mr. George Steinbrenner had an issue. You know, he had issues with a lot of people. You know, um, how personal it may have been, I'm not really sure. But it, I think it's safe to say that there was a personal dynamic to it that um, my dad didn't buy into. Your dad also hired Joe Torrey. Yes, he did. And and that may be, have been a signature move in the history of that franchise. Um, and, and it's funny how their careers sort of followed. It was almost like uh, Bob Watson 
made the footsteps in the sand and Joe Torrey can't comes along is able to walk through those footsteps. Can you talk about what your dad did for the legacy? That's kind of, again, uh, untold uh, historically inaccurate about bringing that whole team together. And, you know, there's a lot of, uh, uh, there's a lot of, uh, 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 pushback that was happening during that hiring. I think that people called him Clueless Joe. You know, they called my dad, you know, dumb as a brick for hiring Joe Torrey. I mean, it was just, it was unbelievable the amount of negative, you know, feedback that was handed out during that time. But there's no doubt that my dad believed in Joe. Joe believed in my dad and, 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 and that, that relationship, I believe, was part of what fuel that championship run and the yankees were not the only championship team that your father constructed even after he left the yankees he was winning championships uh he's the only general manager historically speaking to not only win a world series but to win a gold medal with team usa um, That's right. It, it's, it's unprecedented. So this is a twofold question. How much pride did he take in that gold medal? And secondarily, given that this year we're sending a USA baseball team over to Tokyo where they've said, you can't show that black lives <clears throat> matter. How do you think he would uh, in- interpret that? Because, you know, it's almost as like they're saying, we want you to compete but stay in line. Right. And, you know, my dad was a very principled man. And, and I, I know that he, he, he wasn't one of those people that was afforded the luxury of being distracted by other things in order to do his job effectively. And, and I could just almost hear him saying, as bad as this is, what they're doing and trying to mute voices the best way that we can thrive under these circumstances is to win and make our voices heard as winners because winners always get to speak. What do you think is the most glaring historic inaccuracy surrounding the legacy of your dad? The biggest error is that, in fact, Bob Watson was the first black general manager in Major League Baseball history. He wasn't just the first one to win the World Series. He actually was the first black general manager in Major League Baseball history. Everybody needs to understand what that means, the value of that that glass ceiling that he broke in 1993 with the Houston Astros is actually the historical point that needs to be recognized. That is Keith Watson, the son of the legend that is Bob Watson. And if you did not know, Bob Watson is certainly a bro you need to know. Hey, Keith, thanks a lot for the time, my friend. I appreciate you joining us on Debatable today. Thank you for having me, bro. My pleasure. And remember, folks, if you leave that stuff hanging out over the plate, we're going to take you deep. Peace. MLBBro.com, covering black and brown major leagues.